Today we will do a very simple data interpretation question sets. So let's start. Total number of employees is 22,000. And there are three companies, company A, B and C. And the number of females in each company is 25% for A, 30% in B and 45% in C. And the number of female employees in company A is 2100. So first of all, if 25% is 2100, then what would be the 100%? So this will become 8400. So there are 2100 females in, in the company A and total females in all these A, B and C companies is 8400. So what is the number of females in company B? So that would become 8400 multiplied by 30 over 100 so we can make a table here the company A company B company C and the number of females the number of females uh, so in company A there are 2100 females and company B it is 8400 multiplied by 30 over 100 so this would become 2520 and company C it is 45% of 8400 45% of 8400 is around 3780 now what is the total number of employees so it is 22,000 so in company A it is 35% of 22,000 and it will become 22,000 2000 multiplied by 35 over 100 so this would become simply 7700 in company B it is 22,000 multiplied by 25 over 100 so this would become 5500 we just cut it up like here okay and company C it is 40% of 22,000 so this would become around 8800 so the total number of employees in company A is 7700 in company B is 5500 and in company C it is 8800 8800 so the number of male employees male so simply we can deduct number of female female employees from the total number of employees so here we need to deduct 2100 from 7700 so this would become 5600 here we need to deduct 25 20 from 5500 so it will become 2980 now here we need to deduct 3780 from 8800 and this would become 5020 so we get all the data here so that is the number of female employees number of total employees and the number of male employees so now let's see the questions okay let's move on to the questions number of female employees in B and C constitutes what percentage of total number of employees in companies B and C so let's see the data first so there are 2520 female employees in company B and 3780 female employees in company C and the total number of employees is 5500 and 8800 so simply so let's get back to the question simply what we need to do is the number of the number of female employees in company B and C divided by the total employees 
So number of female employees in company B was 25-20 and company C was 35-37-80. Seven eighty divided by total number of employees in company B was eighty eight hundred in company C was fifty five hundred so it becomes sixty three hundred divided by fourteen three hundred so it's around uh, multiply it by 100 to get the percentage so simply 56300 divided by 143 so it'll become around 44 uh, percent I'm doing this in my notebook so you should also do this in your notebook 44 percent is the answer so let's do the second question if 40% of the female employees in the company A are married, what percentage of male employees are unmarried provided that the total number of married people working in company A is 2500? Please read this properly first. So let's do it. So in company A, the female and married women are so the two there are total 2100 females in company A and out of them 40 percent are married so 40 percent married multiply it it will become 840 840 females in company A are married So, how many males in company A are married? So, total number of people who are married and who are working in company A, so the number is 2500. And out of them, 840 are females who are married and working in company A. So, the rest of people in 2500 are male and who are married, the married males in company A. So, it will become 1660 now what we need to find we need to find in company A how many males are unmarried are unmarried so there are how many we need to find the total number of males in company A and we can deduct the 1660 from it with the number of male employees who are married okay we will get our result so first of all let's see it the total number of male employees is 5600 so let's get back 5600 is the total number of male employees minus the married males so 3940 males are unmarried so what we need to find here what percentage of male employees are unmarried provided that the total number of married people working company is 2500 simply we need to find the percentage of unmarried males to the total number of males working so the 3940 is the number of unmarried males divided by the total number of males that is 5600 multiplied by 100 so by doing like this there is lack of space here I'll do it on my notebook okay it'll become around it'll become around 70.35 so here B is our answer and in the first question the answer was C so if one third of the female employees are living with their husbands how many of them are married but not living with their husbands provided that 34% of the females are unmarried 
So one third of the female employees, so the total number of female employees was, it was 8400. So one third of total female employees, one third, it was 2800. 2800 of the female employees are living with their husband. These are females and these are living with their husbands. Okay, how many of them are married but not living with their husbands? So we need to find the females who are married and but not living with their husband. So 34% of the females are married. So if 34% are married, 66% are unmarried. So 66 over 100 multiplied by 8400 is a total number of married women. So that's that's around Five, four, four, five, five, fifty-five, forty-four. That's a number of females married, married females. So the total number of females are fifty-four hundred. So either they can live with their husband or they uh, they can live uh, without their husband. So it's fifty fifty-five forty-four minus. 2800 so that's that becomes 4472 so C is our answer so let's do the fourth question if so if 20% 30% 30% of the employees in companies a, B and C are respectively under the age of 30 years. Which company has got the largest pool of employees in the age group of 30 years and above? So company A, B and C. If 20% of the employees in company A are below 30 and so the remaining 80% are above 30 years. So in also in company B, 75% are above 30 and in company C 70% are above 30. So we need to find which company has got the largest pool of employees in the age group of 30 and above. So let's see the number of employees in company A, B and C respectively. So it is 7700, 5500 and 8800. So let's apply here. In company A it's it becomes 7700 multiplied by 80 over 100 so it becomes 77 multiplied by 8 and it is 6160 and in company B it's 5500 and at company C it was 8800 so we need to find 75% of 5500 so it is 4125 and here it is 88 multiplied by 70 and it's it's also 6160 so in companies A and C companies A and C both has largest pools of pool of employees in the age group of 30 years and above so E is answer here and C is answer here so if the company C increases its strength by 20% in 2015 and 10% of the staff retires in 2016 what will be the total increase in staff strength of company C at the end of 2016 from the present levels so in company C, the total number of employees was 8800. So at the start, the total number of employees was 8800. So in 2015, the total increase was 20%. So number of employees increases to 10,560 
and 2016 10% of the employees retires so it becomes 90 over 100 so it becomes 9504 so the total impact from the current levels is 9504 minus 8800 and it becomes 704 and B is our answer Thanks for watching this video. You can buy the Quantitative Aptitude Made Easy book for more practice questions from bankexamstudy.com. Call me or drop me a mail.